So for the dress, again, for this one now, I'm doing a pink like a dress. So I'm going to first start off using antique pink. And again, go over the areas where I think would be the darkest. So, a little bit under there. And there. Okay. I'll, I'll leave it as it is at the moment and then I'll move it up a bit when um, I've done this part. So, okay, that's how, you, how I did the sleeve. Use anti pink and now I'll go over it again using cocktail pink. And go over the whole areas. Blending them as you go in. So it kind of hopefully will look like that. Okay, and now to get a nice like vintage style look, um, I used warm grey uh, number four. Oops, I moved it. Sorry, I moved that. Okay, and um, and again I go over the areas. Using the warm grey four, number four, where I think would be the darkest. So, uh, it's usually at the bottom around here. So, I'm going to go a tiny bit underneath the bow there. Okay, so that's number four. And look, now again, I pick up the antique pink and I go over. The warm grey, number four, just to blend the colours in and when I take my hand away you'll see, like, it gives it a nice, nice contrast effect. Okay, so that was um, antique pink. The next one is um, cocktail pink again. And again, you go over the other two areas you cut it in and slowly making the white area smaller. And I think the like the highlight would be kind of be hidden in the middle of the of the sleeve so I'll, I'll leave that area. And then the next colour I use is baby pink. And this is the lightest of the colours I use. When I'm doing pinks, I always use these three colours, antique pink, cocktail pink and baby pink. So if you've just started out with pro markers, I highly recommend using these three colours as with the warm grey, as, as these are the most ones I, I always use. So if you're just starting off, I, I would recommend using these colours, getting these colours first and then you can build up your collection. Okay, with the baby pink, I'm going over all the areas again and I want to leave just this tiny little little white little white line because I'll show you what I'm going to do with that now is my oh I love my blender pen I use it like you would like with a water brush I suppose you know with water colours so with the blender pen you go over all of the area you just coloured And there you go. It, it softens the area where it was white with the rest of the colour and it just makes sure that everything blends in nicely. I would also recommend if you're just starting off with pro markers is to buy a blender pen because oh, I, I use these so much. It's, they're brilliant to add highlights to so I would highly recommend getting a blender pen as well. Okay I'm going to move this out to, oops, sorry, um, there's the rest of the dress now I'm going to colour in. Okay, now again, I start off with the antique pink and I go around where the highlights would be, um, not highlights, sorry, the darker points would be, the shadows. Oops, I slightly went over the opener, sorry. And, and I just keep, just 
go around with the antique pink. Where do you think the shadows? There's a crease there, so creases usually have a shadow. And then the fold is there as well. And there's another one there. And there's another one there. Okay, so that was the um, antique pink. Now again, is 